Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I have a Bible journaling process for you. In the day eight of the Glory of God devotional, I am going to be journaling in my Interleave Bible. And yeah, let's dig in. I'm starting off with the Pine Needles Distressed Ink Color. I wanted to leave some white space in the middle of my page, so I'm going to be using this green color to basically outline the outside of my page. And I wanted to do a bleed in method where I was blending the darker color around the edge and it would bleed into the page. Um, I wanted plenty of space in the middle of my page to layer all my elements, so I thought this was the best way of adding color without taking up the whole page. Today I'm journaling in 2nd of Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, where we are speaking of treasures in jars of clay for day 8 of this devotional. I'll share a little bit more about that later. So I'm just sectioning off the rest of my page and now I'm going to go on to stamping. I am using the Sing for Joy stamp set that was a coordinating stamp set for this devotional. And I love, love, love these trees. They are so, they remind me of this African safari ride that me and my kids love at Disney. So I thought it was the perfect stamp <laughs> for me to do and um, speak about us displaying God's glory. So I'm going to ink up my stamp with my favorite black ink. It's the VersaFine black onyx ink and what I'm going to do is basically do a scattered scene um, of trees across my page so it would look like in the ending hopefully <laughs> it would look like trees um, in the distance and not trees on top of trees if that makes sense I'm going to use this small tree over on the side. So these trees come in, there's a bigger size and a medium size and a smaller size. And you can layer them together to create a scene. I really love that. Lori and Tom always think of um, things like that when they are designing the stamp sets. So here I am inking up one more stamp and this one's going to go on the middle side. I know I want to add some journaling and my title, so I really need to be careful. And now you are going to see me create an oops. So I want to use this stamp to use at the top of my page. And I am basically getting that film off and I ink it up. And as I pick it up, oops, I drop it right in the middle. And now there's this diagonal tree, but I don't worry about it. I just move on with the art process because I figure I'm going to cover it up some way or another. As crafters, we are gonna, you know, commit some mistakes or we are gonna run into some oops, but it's okay. We can just push through and continue to work on the page and not let that stop the meditation on God's word as we are crafting. So I'm just adding more stamps and just layering it up. I grabbed my pen to kind of fill in a little gap that was towards the bottom. Now I'll start working on the center item of my page. So I have these tags that came with the die cuts with the kit. And I am actually gonna use this to stamp on. I love the color and the fact that it looks like it has a little texture. So I will be using the freebie stamp, which is this cute glory sticker with a crown. And I am going to emboss in gold to really make it pop on the centerpiece of my page. So I ink up the stamp with this water sticky ink from Versa Magic, and I go ahead and press that down really good because I really want that sticky ink to make a good impression. And then I'm gonna cover it with my Princess Gold Ranger embossing powder. 
Now you're gonna see me grab my heat tool and get that prepared so that when I dust off all of this embossing powder, I can get that nice and hot. Just pouring the embossing powder back into its container and now the magic starts. So I just wanna let you guys know that you do need a heat tool in order, a craft heat tool in order for you to get this hot enough for the embossing powder to um, set. A heat, um, a blow dryer, sorry, will not work on this it has to be a heat tool it is way hotter than a blow dryer will ever be so it needs to be a heat tool and i got one super cheap with a coupon at um, my local joanne's fabric so now i'm going to fussy cut this out and you will see me mat this um, twice first on a textured paper from the physical pack and then on a black cardstock so as you see me working on that Let's talk a little bit about day eight. So day eight, Tom talks to us about displaying God's glory as jars of clay. And verse seven reads, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. And there were a couple of points on here, which you see me feature on this journaling card from By the Well for God that I'm going to attach to my page number one is that we need to display God's glory uh, we need to put his glory on display that's what should be in display in our life number two is that the power belongs to God only to him does it belong um, it's not about us number three is God's strength is displayed in your weakness so as you know the famous verse says when we are weak he is strong and his power is displayed in our weakness because we can see how he can move and how he works even though we are in our weak state number four is we are vessels that display god's glory so continuously as we walk in our lives as other people are looking at our lives as our testimony grows we are displaying what God's glory can do in the life of a sinner and how it can transform us to be saints. And number five is if creation was made to worship, so will I. And I put a big yes and amen at the end of those five points that I took out of day eight. So on my page, you saw me double mat the glory and now I'm just adding some pop tape to really make this pop up off of the page since it's gonna be sitting between the stamping and the library card. And this library card actually comes in a pack from By the Well for God. I don't know if it's still available, but I will link it below if it is. I add this cute bow clip and a little tag to the top of my library card. That tag came in the ephemera pack with the kit. And then I punched out a tag with the physical paper. And I added the word glory and adhered that to the side of my page. Then to top off and finish off my page, I'm going to add a prayer. And I used pieces of day eight, this devotional, to really um, center my prayer. And my prayer reads, Father, help me live my life for your glory so that I can align my life with your purpose and follow the purpose I was created for. Amen. I really enjoyed this page and putting this together. I'm glad I took the time to go back and illustrate this page in my interleave Bible. If you like this video, I really hope you consider subscribing. I'd love for you to be part of my darlings here on my channel. Hit that like button if you like this video and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for joining me each and every week. I appreciate you guys so much and all your love and all your support. 
I'll make sure to link all the supplies that I used on this page and any information on the restock for this devotional down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. And I'm just blocking off the rest of my scripture that goes to this page. Here's some close-ups. And thank you so much for joining me, darlings. God bless.